This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Welcome here to the GMP High School Football Game of the Week. Coming at you from up in Montville, Maryland, down here in PG County United. And the Henry Wise Prumas, record of 5-0, getting on that amazing one against Flowers on Saturday, 120-18. Taking on the suit of the Rams at a record of 3-2, trying to get a big win in the season. Both teams in 4A and trying to establish themselves. This is third down. That was incomplete. incomplete. It's going to be fourth down here. But Wise got a decision to make. What are they going to do here on fourth down? And actually, here, a little bit behind. We do apologize. A lot of traffic coming in here for this one. First series, Sutland put the football away. It went to the 48 of the Rams. And now, here on fourth down. The Pumas trying to get on the scoreboard for the first time here in this one. This evening. Fourth down. Caught! That complete. He chopped it. And it's going to be a turnover on downs. The Rams get the ball back at the 18 yard line. Nine minutes here left in the first quarter. A nice fall evening. One of the last ones I think we'll see. Here during the football season in the mid 70s. Very nice here. Always nice to be back here at Wise. A lot of basketball being done and the Pumas, but a lot of AU action. Good to be here on the football side doing the Pumas here. First and 10 here for the Rams. Coming out the shotgun, three wide receivers set. Fakes it. A flag is down in the backfield. That should be against the offense here. As we see what the penalty is about. Wise ranked in the top five in the Maryland State Poll. Top ranked team in the state on the public school side. And that's going to go against up Suitland. That's going to move them back. Oh, nice Shot block call there. Never a good thing to see on either side of the bend. Um, of course, you know our audience back in the Baltimore area suffered a tragedy over this week with a Roger Gorn passing away. The matchup we had a month ago with Dunbar and Mervo. This is sincere best to his family, the Mervo community. That game they had against City canceled. The reason, of course, you know why, obviously. Tragedy happened in Channel uh, Life Visual, as you've seen this on Thursday. Honoring Elijah's life, we will have Second. a photo tribute to him doing the episode at Murrow in a couple weeks here on DSN, and they have moved homecoming at Murrow to Second and the 29th. So it'll be that week we have that matchup for you as well. It's a tribute to Elijah Brown. We'll talk about him more during that telecast at that time. Second and 17 right now here for the Rams. Not much is going there. Loss of the play. Loss of Loss of one. Right now, both teams is controlling the line of scrimmage on the other on the defense. Third and long for the Rams. Third and a taxi ride, a meter at 17 here for Suitland. Flags are everywhere. It's going to be against the offense. 
Delayed game. Delayed game, delayed game delayed. against the Rams here. Wise, I know in our games we've done this year in the in the Baltimore region, we haven't seen the play clock. You got a big screen of the play clock that like right over there on the other side. You see that big zero right there on your screen. Third and 18. Ball at the 11 yard line. Throws it and complete. Pass is incomplete. Fourth down for the Rams. Fourth down here for the Rams. They're going to have to put the ball away back to the Pumas here. As it's fourth down. Talk about some scores in the area. Flowers see they can bounce back from their tough defeat against Y. We're giving you Baltimore and DC scores tonight since we are close to our nation's capital for this one. Yeah, this evening. Hunt out of the end zone. It's a high one. It's gonna take a it took a wise bounce. It bounced up. That's going to be right near the 30-yard line of Suitland. Great field position for the Pumas. They're trying to score for the first time this evening. First and 10 Pumas from the Rams, 28. Yeah, Baltimore scoreboard, some games from yesterday. Disco Harbor taking care of Lewis, 32 nothing. Lake Clifton over top, 22 nothing. Holly rolling over Patterson. We'll be at Holly and City in a... In two weeks' time here on the showcase game here at the SN. Murray Hall old Catonsville last night, 45, 14. Him a one for you folks right in the nation's down. Friendship Collegiate winning 12-8 in Edgewood. Coming up to Hawford County for that. First and ten here. The sweep is room to the outside. And a nice game there. Here we go, number three, there. Nine yard gain. It's a nine yard gain. It's going to be. First down, Boomer. Round 17. Round 17. That was a first and 10. Queen Anne's County beating Decatur. 35 34. Orange Mill. Oh, over Woodlawn. I mean, all over. 50 to nothing. Next match against Newtown should be a good one next week. That's inside. Six seconds. We're waiting for the signal here. It's going to be definitely first and goal coming up. After the game, move the chains. First down. First and goal, Puma. First and goal from the two. That's Wise trying to punch it in. Cuts. And do so. Touchdown. Pumas! Wise picks up where they left off from last week. Wise is all beating Centennial after that. Touchdown to number five. Touchdown to seven. Adrian Carter-Williams. Left with Mill all over Amletown now, 32 now. Kenwood over Overly, 22 to 14. Ken Allen up 17-14 over North Carolina. Let's be going southern 34 and number five. We have an official timeout here. Annapolis over Mead, Oakland Mills over Howard 8 to nothing. Early. So we're getting through our Baltimore Regional score if we have. And then we'll get to Dan Coke to this area. New banner up on Oakdale, 14 to 12. Orchard, Quinn Orchard continuing their undefeated race up 28 to 6 over Gaithersburg. Hey, the match is Rockville scores. The best of Chubby Chase up on Clarksburg, 7 to 9. That one is no good. 6 0 lead here, though. 5 57 here left. In the first quarter here, in the Wise Stadium. 
No point in Charles. Allegheny up 7 now with Kaiser. Another town over Brunswick 7 now. Huntington and Northern scorers as we come back at you the game action. Unsume ourselves a little bit. Kuma's up 6 to now. Straight kick off. Right at the 20. Rip room, look out! Down, scores, feet! Out of bounds, right at midfield, near the 40. But wise, the Rams starting for the second, third time in the game. Look at that field position of the game. 37 yards. Liganor, 15 to nothing over Frederick. Again, that, that's going to be. Nice return there by the Rams. Talk about a huge run back there, that's what that was. Got a lot of action coming away. Potomac and Douglas, one a lot of people watching out for in this area. That should be a good one. No doubt about it. Wise in the gray, suitling in that red for the Rams. A run up the middle. That's an impressive run. That should be a first down run. With a seven yard gain. Seven yard gain, they say. They say his knee was down. Ball is on the 29 yard line. got the ball on the wise 29. Second and three for the run. Second and three coming up here for us. Suitland, three wide receivers set. Quarterback out of the shotgun. Boom! How about a hit up the middle? A sack. They had that one scouted out. And a loss. Should be a loss of about 36 more there. Third and nine. Third and nine, that's what I thought. Loss about six, yep. Third and nine. So it went from manageable third down here to not so much. But now it's a four wide receiver set here for the Rams. Flags everywhere as the play clock was running down. Let's see what the call is on. The Rams. Uh, Trying to get an extra advantage here, one too many. And it's gonna oh, cost him five more yards. That tax is moving back some more. Cost him. Welcome everybody here. Third and the taxi ride, 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 ride to meet her at 14 here for Suitland. Throws it up, and it was too far and complete. Fourth down is too far for a field goal tent. It's probably gonna be a punt, and that's what I kind of figured it would be. Oh, the kickoff return was so promising, but the Rams weren't able to take advantage of it after that, and they're gonna try to pin the Pumas deep here. Henry H. Wise, field. Straight. Front long, right at. They're going to call it the eight. So it's a fair catch at the eight. And that's where the Pumas will set up for the third time here this evening. They look really good. On that last. One, they had that short field to get down for a touchdown. This time, much longer. Let's see how they do it. Chris, 
Thursday. Again, a beautiful evening. First and ten at the Ram, excuse me, at the Puma, eight yard line. That's a low snap. With time, wide open, and he dropped it. Man, don't regret that one in the morning. Man, I think he's seen daylight, but didn't have the ball in his full possession. Second and ten coming up here for Wise. Six nothing lead here. For the Puma. Right. Second and ten, a couple of changes. Personnel, one, two wide receivers on the bunch side here. Come on! Throws it short. A gain of two. Suit number two. Take it down. Third and eight at the ten. So third and eight at the eleven. Again, a lot of personnel getting in and off the field. A quarterback sneak. Still on his feet. And the chains will move. How about that? Jaden Survey, the quarterback. Very impressive run. Keeps the chains moving. A lot of nice trickery there by the Pumas. Fakes it. Oh! It was an accepted, but there's a flag. Down. I think it's against the offense. I think it's pick my stand. It was a tipped interception. See what the call is going to be on. It is on the offense. It's a holding call. It's going to be declined. The Rams has set up near the red zone by the Pumas. And they're trying to tie it up at six. First time over the evening. Snap. Throws it. And it's sucked it the other way. And it's gone. It's time to serve. It's been a while. Big Six City. Touchdown. Henry Hayes Rice. That was caught, open daylight, and off to the races. 12 nothing lead here for Watt. And for Suitland, they got to say, man, we had a golden opportunity to tie this game up, and in one pass, we're down by two touchdowns. All right, they're going to go. One side lined up. Yes. Interception picked on the turn by number six. Make it warm. Now both sides finally going to line up normally. They're going for an extra point. Not going to go for two. Right down Broadway. Thirteen up late here for the home Pumas. 
as they just grab momentum right from the Rams. They even grabbed it right from them. Indeed. Thank you so much for checking us out on the Dice Boy Network, Instagram, and Twitter. Dice uh, Boy Network. Special Facebook page, Dice Boy Network, finally right here on the YouTube. And boy, we thank you all for supporting us. Fourteen hundred and ten subscribers. I mean, we're rolling now. We want to thank you all for that. I'm going to bring you the best sports action here in the DMP area. And more. We're, we're trying to be what you want us to be at, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at Rise today. Tomorrow will be nine and Barsville, Bishop McAmara. Get to see them in Damathas. The Should be a good one. Between those two, Damathas and Roland, since they started conference play, McAmara is trying to get back on track. They've lost two straight. Off to Archbishop Taylor and St. John. So they're trying to get back on track. What a big matchup that's going to be. It's the DMV Showcase game them all. They have it for you. That's a boomer. Nice catch right there. They had a decent return the last time. And again, another one! Down on the sidelines! Got room, forced out of bounds, almost right at the midfield. The Suitland return game has been excellent here this evening. First and 10 Rams from their own 45. Yeah. They're at their own 45. The last one got them inside of the wise 45. So, again, Suitland though, they're going to get their own, their own way on offense. Had, they had gift wrapped it. The turnover in the pick six really must have sales at the interception they had. So, two straight plays back to back picks. It does happen, trust me. We had a matchup in Owens Mills, but what long in Owens Mills before? What a Southern Fancy have seen that on our Game of the Week promo. That's a run. Inside run. It may be a game's about two. Carried by the Rams, no game. Nope, no game at all. Second and ten. Second and ten. For Suitman. They're on 204 West. Playoffs a couple weeks away, first week of November. Why well, still stayed in the traditional 4A? One thirty left here in the first quarter. Pass. Caught. An impressive catch. First down and more inside of Wise territory. The Rams at the Puma's 40 now. Seen us right at that 50, but it's all good. A run. Let's see what they spotted. It's a one yard, one yard game, they said. One yard game. One more play in the quarter. That final two is for the first. Play clock at 26. Good to say that again. Tell you, we'll be at next week for the game of the week, and we got a big one coming up at you next week. Two big ones, actually, for the showcase game as well. 22 seconds left. Play clock at five, four, three, two, one. Get it off in time. Quarterback run up the middle. That's going to be real close to the mark. Maybe about. It's going to be third and seven as they switch ways, and we end the first. After one, the Pumas, short touchdown, pick six city. 13 nothing for Wise. They're trying to go to 6 0 here on the season. Back with the second quarter here on the DSN DFB High School football game of the week. After this.
Second quarter here on the way to Morris out here, which and up them all, bro. Third down screen. That's some room, but I don't think he got to the first down mark. Maybe they say he did. He did. They say he did. I thought he was maybe about a half a yard short, but they say he got there. Suitland trying to move again. Down 30 30 30 30 30 30 30 30 30 Check that 27 yard. 27. I say it's going to be maybe the last night of the year. This weather's going to be like this, spectacular. Here tonight, we might be dodging some rain showers tomorrow in Fallsburg for the McAmara game. That's a run. That's going to be about a game of maybe one or two. And we get you a score update mighty quick. What's going on in the in the Baltimore um, B and B region? Three yards in the second and seven. Go, go. Second and seven round from the 24 yards. What a hit there. Loss of three yards. That is the third and ten. Big third and 10 here at the 27. Soon know they gotta get this ball in the end zone. Big set, it's gonna be a hold. He's still running. That's coming back though, that's coming back. That most definitely is coming back. You see the hold there. You see the hold from here? It's gonna come back. Quinn Orchard and Davis Burr right now, 31 6 lead for uh, Orchard. I ain't signed up on Magruder, 20 to 7. Hey, Dell and you banner, they're going at 20 to 14 lead for Old Town. This ball's going to be moved back to near the 47 yard line now. Down to the tucks and tied at seven. Big third and 20 at the 40. Snap. The quarterback got to escape. Down he go. And he's going to set. Long for three more yards. Fourth down against Suitland. The penalty this time hurt him daily. And they got to put the ball back to Wise again. Fourth and long for Wayne from the pin of 42 yards. Fourth down and we're trying to pin. Wise deep, that was a low snap. But a straight kick, that was a nice recovery. It went off. It it, that thing almost went off a wise player. But lucky enough, it just well, barely the from the fifteen So the Pumas going to set up at their own 15. Miffle Mill all over Randall Center now, 45 nothing. Right next to Vernon Punk, big one there. It's tied at 14. We're hoping to survive that so we can have a big showdown next week. Dundalk over Franklin here. This is a shocking score. 21 to nothing. How showing they but St. Francis speaking of showing something. 63 to 7 over life. Christian McCann, my lord. The Panthers roll. And when they roll, boy, they roll big. First and ten here. Run! That's a nice, that's a nice one. That might have moved the chains all. It's gonna be second and two. Coma's trying to mix it up here a little bit. They went with another run. That's gonna be a first down. That's what that's gonna be. First down. Hey, that.
Make it out good. Yeah, I'm in the recording now. So. No problem, no problem. Yeah, oh, yeah, everything good. All right, too. Yes, sir. I, I'm going to hit you back. 8.25 hit left in the quarter. First and 10 at the 27. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a flag. That's coming back. Nice leaping ability. Still on his feet. Another flag came down. It's going to be at the 30, but it's coming back. It's going to come back. The only good, only hope, I would say the only hope maybe for, for Wise is that it's an offsetting penalty. If not, yeah, it's going to move him back a little bit. We had two Rams kind of not get up on their own power. At the brief moment, both of them is okay. The two flags came down, one in the beginning of that run and one during the middle of the run. Wise can get it off setting. It's a victory for the Pumas. If not, then there's one on the offense. And that's the client. Both of them on Wise. Bum is on wise. So the hold is just the pullback. First and 20 at the 27 yard line. Thirteen nothing lead here for for Wise. So they're trying to go to six and zero here on the season. We'll look at the Pumas remaining schedule. We know of course two weeks the big rivalry game. I don't know, Roosevelt down the way. That's always a good one. And now Roosevelt right now trying to make it push in four eight. Looking impressively well right now. So we got a timeout? And we do. Pumas. Pumas take time. <laughs> Folks, so if you said the ball, the DMV High School Football Showcase game, Damatha and Bishop McNamara, WCAC Showdown. We're on DSN, we will have that one for you. And then coming up next week, the game of the week will bring us to Broadneck. And the the County, the big matchup between Old Mill and Broadneck. The rivalry's already always hot. Now the matchup, and if everything goes according to plan, it will be for the Anne Arundel County title. We have that one for you. And then next on the showcase, Calvert Hall, Mount St. Joe. Always a fun matchup to be at. This it's gonna be homecoming for the Gales and the second spot on the line, and maybe for both teams a shot at that one seed to catch Spalding. But again, that's gonna be next week here on DSN. Then the following week we're gonna. Keep it in Baltimore City for you. With Apperson and Mervo. And then the rivalry game. The oldest rivalry in Maryland. The six oldest rivalry in high school football in the country. It'll be City and Polly for the 132nd time. And this time, we're going to have some action in that one. That should be a good one. Ball and game remain for Wise at Parkdale. Head home. And then you know, Roosevelt, like I said, that rivalry game. Low snap there. That's a run on the side. What a nice tackle there. That's a gain of a couple. Two yard gain in play. Two yard gain. It's going to be second, second and 18. Yeah, from the home 17 yard line. For Suitland, they still got to see why next week at home. And then. Uh, They'll be catching Parkdale the following Saturday. They're now their season before the whole season. Spin move. It's a flag down. Holding against the Pumas. 
Going against the Pumas, that's right and holding again. It's not with no foul. Got up, has gotten back. And it's third and 20. That's a 17. With the taxi out, it was a long ride. Deep bomb, wide open catch. First down and more. And to the end zone, touchdown, wide. This one not looking good for Suitland right now. That ball there. 19 to nothing lead here for the Boomers. Third and 20, it didn't matter. They said we're going to throw the ball on, man. It went through. They're going for the extra point here. Actually, no, they're going for two. Throw, back in the end zone, and complete. The two cover version, no good. I should say 19, nah, not quite 20. 19 to nothing. Wise have exploded with the big play on defense, the big play on offense. I've had control of this football game right now. The Rams, with the Rams, not trying to have that record even to three and three. Any matchups here? And Wes Familia, that's a short kick at the 25. Cut! Look out! It's a foot race now! Again, the return that has done well for the Rams. It's going to start the Puma 42. It's not like the Rams have not started in good field position throughout the game. Their offense has not been able to take advantage of it. Wow. We got some good special teams. The offense just can't take advantage of it. First and ten rain from the pump of forty two yards. First and ten for the Rams are at the forty two. Yeah, no, Matt never said night for high school football. They will be coming at you from PT County. First time this year here on DSA. Be back down here a little bit more. Okay, for the basketball season. Can't wait. Black Y is always one of the teams here in this area doing well. Big series here for the Rams. As they need to get a score desperately. That's a run. They got him in the middle. I'm about to say, he lost the yard. He's going to move it back a little bit.
Second and 11 at the 43 of Wise. Another run up the middle. This time it cuts to the outside. It's going to get a couple more there. It's a four yard gain. It's going to be third down and seven coming up here for Suitland. Seven. 39 yard line, Sutton and no, they need to get something on offense going. Again, a direct snap again. One yard gain. Fourth and six for the Rams. At this point, it is, it's time to go for it if you're the Rams here. Fourth and six. I've been doing a lot of direct snaps and 38 yards. That ball gonna have to go in the air here on the fourth down. There you go. Crowding into it. We got flags, we got flags, we got flags. Let's see what these flags are about. Can't really quite see who it was against. It's an encroachment call against the Boomer, so it's gonna make this uh, four and six, four and one now. It's gonna make this a little bit more manageable. It's still four down, it's and one. This fourth down a little bit more manageable here. Excuse me, 420 here left in the first half. Fourth and one, ladies and gentlemen, for the 33 yard line. Fourth and one. And now timeout by the Rams. Timeout. Well, 19 nothing late. So, here in Alba Marble. Give it up uh, for my shooting there. The game action a bit fourth and one here for the Rams. Fourth and one for the Rams. Ah, I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we should. They measure the chains on this one here, because that was tough. Well, they want to go. Yeah, this is, this is a bang bang right here. It's a bang bang one. Bang bang call, as we say. It could go either way. And on that measurement, they're going to bring the chains in. Chains coming out. It's short, ladies and gentlemen. It is short. Short about a couple of links. Pumas retain possession on the ball at the 33. First down, 10 Pumas from 
Four minutes left in the Four first half. Three, three, three. That's been all. All wise right now in the first half. First and ten. <laughs> Throws it. Open. Still on the feet. That's the first down and more. Close to midfield. First down. First down to number 21, Trayvon Mitchell. Mitchell with that first down. Annapolis right now. We're looking at our scores again. Over me, big time, 50 to 6. Franklin has scored. On Dundalk there, 21-6. And we got a flag. That's going to be against the offense, looks like. And it is. Oh, Richardson, 38 nothing on the field. No, we didn't talk about some of the matches all in the in the area, but one of them is Gilman and Calvin Hall. That's a big one. And Gilman can take care of business in that one. Hereford coming to Newtown. Titans with three straight home games. He was at the first one last week. Trying to bounce back off the loss. That's going Western Tech. That's an interesting one here. From see a prep. That's a nice run on his feet still. Down inside the 30. The big play again for Wise, and another first down for the first. Number three, Nick McMillan, after the game, the change, first down. Mount St. Joe, that's an interesting one. Lord Blake fell off with some trick. Find a matchup in there, they went no huddle. They gained about it all. The Pumas trying to really put Suitland on their heels. One yard game in play, second and nine for the Pumas from the Rams, 28 yard line. Check that, 27. Low snap. Looking to throw, short pass intercepted. It's a flag down on the pick as well. Second interception of the game against Wise. But let's see what the penalty is on. The penalty was thrown right when the interception was caught. I think the pick is going to stand. Let's see where, what the penalty is going to be. Looks like there's a penalty on the field. Definitely flag, ain't no doubt about that. Let's see if the flag is on. I think it's, it might be against Wise. But the pick, the interception happened, and then the flag was thrown right when it happened. So, let's see what it's about. It looks like it's a penalty against the Rams. It is against Suitland. Will the interception stand? That's the question. Hold it against the land. So the interception will stand. But it will move the ball back on the Rams end of things. We know Suitland will lose it all. They'll take that as a victory because we... Actually, I'm sorry. The holding was right near the interception, so the Pumas get it. They're back on offense. Uh-oh. Got to get them out of there. Hustle throws it and complete. 
Flag down late. Touch the field. So on the last play asserted disaster as the intercession was overturned. Let's see what this call is as that muster has been out on the field a lot in this one so far in the first half. It's against the offense. Intentional grounding. We're going to lose it down. Six left here in the court. It's a run up the middle, bounced off of it. That gains a couple. Two minutes left here in the half. It's going to be third down and eight coming up here for Dr. Henry H. Wise. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> An airplane flight, huh? You say. <laughs> All right, that's going to add, that's going to help the Pumas give them five yards back. It's going to be third and 15 now, so you can uh, add the meter up. Ball placed at the 26 now. Makes it, throws it straight, guys, and scores! And that might shut the door on this one already, depending on how the Rams enter the second half. Again, the, the Pumas with the big play tonight. They've had three of them in this first half that has equal scores. And I think the Pumas are going to go for two again. Oh, they're going to go for the extra point. They're going for one. Fake set. Still on his feet, but it's going to go down. Set was too slow, so 112 left. The Pumas 25, the Rams nothing so far in this one. And all wise here in this first half. They have really dominated the football game. They haven't played perfect football. They've played good, sound football and they control the pace of the game. And like we said earlier, that pick six. Seaton had the ball and he could have really made some noise and it, it has really turned this football game around. Remember, Coach Wise gets the ball back first in the second half. Whip kick, and at the 30. And in, in this case, folks, it was smart because Sutland, Sutland's one aspect tonight, their special teams have done well on the return day. So it's almost a victory to kind of keep that down and slow things up. Rams. 
Lobbed the pistol here. Pitch to the outside. Nowhere to go. Alma came off, but nowhere to go. Clock was out at 101. Again, you the Rams, the ball got to get down the football field here. That's a timeout by Wise, I believe. WCAC action coming your way here on DSN. The math has been rolling, like I said, since they've been in conference play. We had them against Bishop McAmer. It'll be a good one tomorrow. And then next week, high school football game of the week coming at you from Broadneck. Old Mill Broadneck, 24A schools, two Anne Arundel County schools. Two arrivals going at. And we'll let you know what's going on with that tonight. Second and a very long 28. Get the get the Uber meter out. That's a run up the middle. Boom, couple hits. Lions took their final time out, I believe. Boys Latin 30 to 23. Trying to get that score from Oxford Spawn and McDonough. Ken Allen now up on North Carolina 24 14. Third and 26. Fakes it. Rolling out. And nowhere to go. Flag is down though. Hoping it's not a hold. All right now. It would be the worst thing if it was a hold on a penalty for the quarterback. It was a face mask. If Pumas is trying to get the ball back, that's going to kill that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Third and 11. So two defensive penalties here has uh, aided the Rams to get inside of Wise territory. 48 seconds left. Suitland is trying to get something on the board here. Man to midfield. Went with the run. Nowhere to go. Four for six. I mean, clearly you shoot, you gotta go for it. I think the Rams did take a timeout. No, they did not. So the clock is gonna run. Content there. 25 number lead here for Wise at the end of the first half. Second half video coming up here on the DMV High School Football Game of the Week. Here in Upper Marlboro. Here at Wise. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?